Hey y'all, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how I get my hair bone straight even though I don't relax the top anymore. If you haven't seen the video all about why I stopped perming my hair, I will link it for you guys below and I'll put a card in the video so you can just click on it and check that out. But basically I don't relax this part of my hair anymore and I have about 2-3 to three inches worth of curly, natural, not relaxed new growth. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how I get it all to blend together with the sides in the back that I still do relax and hopefully you guys can take something away from this. So let's go ahead and get into the video. First things first, I pop up, no I'm just playing. So comb everything out with a wide tooth comb, kind of get it going in the direction you want to wrap it. I'm just using some Nairobi here to uh, smooth everything down like I normally would if it was all relaxed. I make my part and then I start smoothing and I smooth down the sides and the back first because that's relaxed and it's easier to smooth that part down. So I get that all slick like I want it. You can see that here. And I do have a little bit of that top part that's not relaxed in there. And then here you want to make sure you get right at that part and at the root really saturated with the wrapping foam. Take the wide tooth comb and then I'm combing through and then I take the ends that are still relaxed and I just slick them down into the mold of the side that actually has the relaxer on it. Because the ends are still relaxed you want to make sure they're smoothed out and straightened. Then with the smaller tooth comb, I go in and I do comb from the root. I don't comb um, at the root all the way down. I'm just smoothing out the roots of the part that's not relaxed. And as you can see, when I get to that side part, I lift the comb back up, take my hands again, and I slick down those straight relaxed ends into the sides again. It's all laid down. I go ahead and take my wrap strips, not neck strips, and I wrap my hair. Go ahead and sit under the dryer for 40 minutes and when I come back, bam, we're ready to curl. So what you're gonna see me doing here is tap, tap, tap at the root. And that is because I want the heat distributed to the parts of my hair that are not relaxed. The heat is what is actually going to give you that silky, smooth, straightened look when you're finished. So just watch me here. I'm going to speed it up eventually, but I did the first few sections in um, real time so you could see me just tap, tap, tap that flat iron. And I've done videos before where I've told you guys about, you know, making sure that you have the flat iron placed where you want it because the heat comes out of both sides of the flat iron, not just, you know, the side of the flat iron that's on your root, but also the other side. So by me tapping at the root like that, I'm making sure that all the heat that is possible is getting to that root. So this is for your view and pleasure. You could just watch this until we get to the next section. You'll also notice that as soon as I take the flat iron out of the hair, I'm fingering through it. And that's because I don't want the hair to cool in a really super curled position. And if you disturb a curl while it's still hot, you can manipulate it. So really I just want that bend at the ends. So I tap at the root, I run the flat iron through, and then as you see it has that bump and I'm straightening it out essentially. That's what I'm rubbing my fingers through the ends of it for, to straighten it back out while it's still hot so that when it cools, it cools slicked down to my head. That's how I'm able to get the hair to respond like it's relaxed. So watch this section, you'll see me do it again. Comb through really well from the root. I'm gonna take the flat iron, I'm gonna tap, 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 and I'm moving it across the length of that section of hair. And then I pull it all the way through to the ends, and then I run my hand through it, and that's all you do. So as you can see, it is pretty straight. I go back again right at the edges and I take the small flat iron and I just make sure you know those front edges are really flattened out and straight and silky. Run my fingers through everything and kind of check it all out to see if it's like I want it. I comb through it and you see me going through it a lot with my fingers because I'm feeling the roots to make sure I didn't miss any sections. So here I just comb it out really wild so I can see where I want to go back in and be more precise with my curls. And as you can see, I finger through those curls, but not as much as I did before because I don't want these curls to get straightened out. I want them to keep a little bit of that bend to it. So you'll see me um, not disturbing that curl so much because I want it to cool in that position. That's how I get the body at the top too. And then, look at that, look at that. 
can't tell me that hair don't look good. That hair looks good. It is healthy. It is shiny. It is obedient. That's a nice head of hair right there. All at home, all DIY. Ladies, you can do it. Don't let them tell you otherwise. So you can just watch me here. I'm just fingering through it to get everything like I want. I take a combination of coconut oil and the Care Care Cream Press and I run those through for shine and for sleekness. So you'll see me running it through. I'm checking it in the mirror. I run it through the back. I see if there's any sections that look dry, you know, and I run it through again in those little sections. That gives me the shine and the sleek finish. Then here, what you see me do is with that Aveda Brilliant, I'm just going over it, but you can see I'm just rubbing over the hair as a whole. And then I take it on my fingertips and go at the root because this is an anti-humectant. So it keeps my hair from puffing back up because the hair is not relaxed. It keeps it laid down and it's not a heavy product so you don't have to put gels or you know anything hard on the hair to keep it slicked down it's the products and there you can see a close-up of the roots just to see how really straight it came out and how nice it looks and that's pretty much it just play around with it give it some finishing touches and booyah all right y'all that was it i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments as always please leave them down below and i will get back to you guys i hope there were some helpful tips in this that you could take away from it um and i hope you guys are able to see how easy it is to actually get your natural hair um, straight with just a few products and some good old flat irons so thank you guys so much for watching supporting and subscribing and until next time y'all bye